My name is Mizua Umimori. I'm a 16-year-old high school sophomore. Because of a certain reason, I'm always wearing a mask, and the rest of my classmates are grossed out by me. Nobody speaks to me, except for one person. Hey, Mizua. Let's eat lunch together. The girl who spoke to me is Aoha Soratsuki, 16 years old. She's my one and only friend in the world. She always has other friends that she eats lunch with, but sometimes she sits and eats with me. The reason why we started talking was because two months ago... <sighs> I lost again in the horse race princess game. I wonder why. It seemed like she wasn't doing well on a cell phone game, and I just so happened to play the same one. I thought I could give her some tips on how to get better, but since everyone in the class was always avoiding me, I didn't have the courage to talk to her. But then one day... Um... If you'd like, do you want me to teach you some tips on how to win the races? What? Really? Thank you! I didn't know that you were such a nice guy, Mizua. I thought it would be lame to leave it when I could actually be helpful. So one day, I mustered up the courage to talk to her. After that, she and I began talking. I'm really glad from the bottom of my heart that I found the courage to talk to her that day. Because whenever I'm with her, it's the only time that I can enjoy being at school. There's a nice strong breeze today, so let's eat lunch on the rooftop. Our hair's going to get messed up though. It's fine, I want to become a hairstylist in the future so I can fix it up for you. Alright, well then, I guess I don't need to worry. That's right, leave it to me. I was eating my lunch with a mask with a slit in the mouth so that I could eat while leaving the mask on when... Ah, uh, my hair is getting blown in the wind covering my mouth. Ugh, I can't eat. That's because you have long hair. But you could eat normally. That's not fair. That doesn't make sense. Every time her hair brushed against my face from the wind, it made my heart skip a beat. But then... Yo, Alha! I finally found you. So, have you finally decided to become my third girlfriend? <sighs> the person who came to talk to me was Kazusuke, one of the juniors a year above us. He said something about falling in love at first sight with me, and lately he's been bothering me. No, not only are you cheating and two-timing, you're trying to three-time. I could never be with a piece of crap like that. You're the only person in the world who calls me a piece of crap. And that's what I like about you. How straightforward you are. All right then, date me. No, oh, no, no, no! Because I like people who are honest and kind. I could never date you, even if I died. Aoha was throwing a little tantrum. It was kind of cute, but if she was that against it? Um, she's clearly saying no and really against it. Would you please give up already? Who the hell are you? Stay out of this! or I'll sink you to the bottom of the ocean!" His attitude completely changed. He must have been the type to be cold to everyone other than the girls he liked. Anyway, I was just about to do whatever it took to get rid of him. Ah! A snake! Ah! A snake? What do we do? Calm down. This is just a toy. What? Ever since I was little, I've been living with a mask on so I was often surrounded by bullies. That's why I'm carrying anti-bullying goods on me. I see. Thank you for saving me. Also, the way you talked back to an upperclassman, that was really cool. You really are so kind, Mizua. I'm not. You're obviously way nicer than me, Aoha. What? How? Because you're the only one that's nice to me, even though everybody else in the class treats me like I'm gross. I'm really grateful to you, for your kindness. You're so stupid, Mizua. I'm being nice to you because we're friends. I don't care if people think that you're gross or whatever. Don't be grateful to me because then you're making it seem like I'm being nice out of pity. I'm sorry. I said something so careless. I'll try to be more positive from now on. Yeah, because you don't have to force it, okay? Aoha's words would always give me a lot of energy, and I wanted to become somebody that could give her energy too. That was when a sudden gust of wind blew onto us, 
that would change my fate. Whoa, uh, the wind is crazy. Misua, are you okay? Wait, that is you, Misua, right? Of course it... What's the matter? I didn't know that you had such a beautiful face. What? My face? Wait. Ah, don't look at me! Why not? You have such a beautiful facial structure. You have a really hot face, but with a little bit of cuteness. To the point where even I would be jealous. You're lying. Because ever since I was little, my mom has always told me that I was disgusting. I went into a panic, and my mouth was running with words that I had never told anyone before. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Is that the reason why you're always wearing a mask? Yeah. The same way my mom says it's disgusting, I realize that my face makes other people uncomfortable. And I don't want to cause any inconvenience. So I hide it. I have no idea why your mom would say something so awful. But your face is really nice. No matter how many times your mom might reject your face, I'll accept it and call you handsome even more times than that. So please, don't think that your face would make other people uncomfortable. That's way too sad. All right. Thank you. I'll do my best to believe you and your words. That there isn't anything wrong with my face. Yeah. That being said, I can't forgive your mom. Saying such terrible things to her own son. Let me go lecture her. Oh, no. I'm thankful you feel that way. But I'll talk to her myself. It's something I need to face on my own. All right. Stairs. Hmm... If you're this handsome, you might be able to win the Handsome Guy Contest at the school festival. Handsome Guy Contest? Yeah, that idiot Kuzusuke was bragging that he won last year, and that he'll win again this year. When I heard that, all kinds of thoughts flew into my mind. I think I'll try entering that Handsome Guy Contest. Wow, you're really going to? But why? Um, because you complimented my looks. And I thought that maybe if I were able to win, then I would finally be able to have some confidence in myself. There was another reason, but that was a secret. Well then, I'll come up with a strategy so you'll definitely win. Thank you. I'm counting on it. And so began our great big strategy to win the Handsome Guy contest. After school, we got straight to planning. The strategy I came up with is a great big surprise. What does that look like in reality? First, until your turn at the contest, you're going to keep your mask on as usual. You're going to take off your mask off at the very first time on stage. And you're going to shock the entire audience. Oh, so that's why you're telling me to keep my mask on. Yeah, also, because you're also wearing a mask, your voice is always clouded, so I didn't realize. But you also have a really nice voice. So, what do you think about singing, for your introduction on stage? I didn't know I had a nice voice. You're the first person to tell me that. In that case, I'll do my best to practice my singing. Michael is so positive. He looks really excited. How wonderful! After we finished our meeting, I began my training for the contest that was one month ahead, including working out and raising my standards for myself. Aoha accompanied me in my training and she was cute and so kind. I didn't know what to do about her anymore. And finally, the day of the contest, Alha said, since I want to be a hairdresser, I'm going to give you handsome guy hair. And she invited me over to her house. What do you think? Wow, it's a really cool hairstyle. Thank you. Now I feel even more ready to tackle this. Really? Well, I'm glad. All right then, good luck. I'm rooting for you. I'll do my best to show you. The contest began, and I was waiting for my turn in the holding room with Kuzusuke. Um, would you like to make a bet with me? Huh? What the hell are you saying? If I win the contest, please promise that you'll stop bothering Aoha. And if I don't win, then I'll do whatever you want me to do. This was one of the reasons why I entered the contest. <laughs> a loser with a mask on like you? Winning? Obviously that's never gonna happen. Because I'm going to win. Sure, why not? 
There's no way you're gonna win anyway. So I'll take you up on that bet. Thank you very much. And so, the contest began. Entry number one is last year's winner, Mr. Kuzuke. I will win again this year. <laughs> one by one, the contestants were introduced on stage. And then it was my turn. We've never had anybody enter with a mask on before. I will be taking the mask off. What? Thank you very much. Whoa! Hearing from underneath the mask is the face of a prince that would come out of the fantasy game. I want to capture you right now. And then I sang the song that I'd been practicing like crazy. Yeah, amazing. He's so handsome. Not only his face, but he's also good at singing. This is unfair. A photo? How do you take a photo? The auditorium was filled with applause. My mom always called my face disgusting, and my classmates always treated me like I was gross. And yet, I was being complimented and accepted by this many people. It felt like a dream. After that, the rest of the contestants were introduced, and the winner was... The winner is contestant number eight, Mr. Mizuwa Umimori! I won? I did it! I, I did it! Yes! Who would you like to dedicate this trophy to? I would like to dedicate this to a very important person who supported me and pushed me so that I could win this contest. You have a girlfriend? That's so disappointing. I'm so sad. Well, she's not my girlfriend, but... Isn't it amazing? Look at your son. He won. Yes, looks like he did. I knew I may be crossing a line, but I forcibly brought Mizuwa's mother to the contest. I thought that maybe, if she saw her son shining on stage, that she would realize how wrong it was for her to call her son disgusting. Um, do you mind if I ask you? Why do you call your son disgusting? I don't think that's something that anybody should say to their own child. That's because his face looks just like my ex-husband who left me for some other woman. That's why I... Because of my hatred for my ex-husband, I found myself calling him disgusting. But that's awful! He didn't do anything wrong! Wait, Mizua? Mom? But you said you weren't coming today! This young lady dragged me here. But more importantly, I'm so sorry for calling you disgusting. When I saw you shining on stage, I realized that you don't look anything like your father. That your father was never that handsome. I think I forced myself to believe that you looked like him, so that I could take out my hatred on you. I want to ask you to forgive me, but I hope you will at least let me be your mother still. Mom, I'm not a saint, so I can't say that I'll forgive you for everything. But I do want you to be my mom, now and forever. And I believe that you and I can start over, together. Mizua, thank you. Thank you. Mizua's mom said that she would make a dinner to celebrate and went home. And I was feeling really glad that they were able to make up when the number one person I didn't want to see in the world showed up. You're seriously so persistent. I just came here to bid you farewell. What are you saying? You didn't hear it from your mask guy? I made a bet with him that if he were to win, that I won't chase after you anymore. I'll keep my promise. I'm sure I'll never see you again. Kizusuke said those words and walked away. Mizuwa, you made that bet because I was in trouble, didn't you? Thank you. You're really such a great guy. Oh, well, as I was blushing... Hey, give me your number! Will you go out with me? You're even more good-looking up close! In a huge turn of events, I was surrounded by multiple female students. However... There was something I wanted to tell Aoha. Let's run away! What? Me too? So I grabbed her hand and started running. <sighs> and I didn't need to run away from there, did I? That might be true. But there's something I wanted to tell you. You wanted to tell me? Oh, well, that reminds me. Things got so hectic that I didn't get to say it yet. But congratulations on winning. You did a great job. You are so amazing. Yeah. Thanks. 
Um, and, uh, the thing you said when you won, about dedicating the trophy to the person who supported you, you were talking about me, right? Yeah. You said that they were a very important person, but I was wondering, um, what do you mean by that? I didn't have any confidence in myself, so I wanted to win the contest and gain more confidence. And I wanted to change that confidence into courage to tell you how I feel. So that's why I'm going to use that courage to tell you that I really like you, Aoha. Mizuwa, I really like you. I like you too. The time I got to spend with you is so much more fun and comfortable than any other time. And I'm so happy. I'm really happy to hear that. Me too. Just as I was about to hug Aoha. There he is! All right, let's tie him with a rope and capture him! A group of female students had come chasing after me. Not only that, but they actually had a rope. It was scary. Must be hard to be a popular guy. I might be a little worried. There's no need for you to worry. At all. What? No matter how popular I may become, there's only one person in this entire world that I like. And it's you, Aoha. Yeah, I believe you. Wait, I wasn't paying attention, and now we're surrounded. I was always afraid of taking my mask off in front of people. But little did I know that this world without my mask was this beautiful and shining. From now on, I don't want to be afraid of anything as I go through this life together with her. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.